Bye. Tonight's video is going to be a House of Fraser Hall. Now, I don't really understand why the box is so big. But anyway, look down the lane. Probably because they put so much of this stuff in. Oh, everything's wrapped individually in that book. That's why it's like... Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, the first thing I have picked up is this Clinique Hydration Moisture Surge Hydrating Supercharged Concentrate. This is 48 millilitres. They've never had this before. And it says 100% fragrance free, supercharged hydrator, instantly quenches dehydrated skin, unique water gel is ultra light and oil free, yet so intensely hydrating. It boosts skin's moisture reservoir for a full 24 hours. Innovative liquid sphere technology. Technology. <laughs> technology combines. Water binding ingredients with encapsulated antioxidants to break the cycle of dryness and environmental stress that can lead to premature aging. Even part skin feels soothed, supple, and replenished. Use AM and PM on clean skin. We got there in the end. So, this is what it looks like. It is pretty schnazzy. And as I say, I don't know why, but I like to smell things even though it says it's fragrance free. So you use this AM and PM on clean skin. So I'm looking forward to giving this a go. I have tried the Clinique um, Moisture Surge, the gel cream, and I've tried the thicker one, but that was many, many moons ago and it was pretty good stuff. But I just, I don't know, I'm so into skincare. One, because I'm 35 this year. Two, because I don't wear makeup every day. And I really feel that apart from the odd scarring checkups, up, check chicken pox marks from when I was younger, my skin is pretty good, but it gets so, so dry. Like I've got a really bad dry eyelid just now. You're probably not going to really notice it on here because I'm not using my ring light either, but it's like really dry. So I'm really into my skincare and as much as I keep saying I'm going to stick to one brand, I don't. But I've really wanted to try this. So I have a store card for House of Fraser. And yeah, I've used it. So that's the first item. I'm going to get pins and needles sitting in here. Next thing I picked up is another one of one of my favourite, favourite foundations. Yes, it's expensive. Yes, it's overpriced. And no, I'm not going to justify myself. I love it. It works for me. I like it. And it is the Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Touch Foundation with SPF 25. And this is the cushion one because they didn't have the liquid gel one, like the bottle, in my colour. Otherwise, I would have got that because you actually get more for your money. And if you've watched my channel for a while, why can't I get into this? There we go. This is what it looks like. And I am number 30 in this one because I got colour matched at the counter ages ago. But I am number 20 in the liquid one. And it's sealed just now. But as you know, it's the little one. If you haven't tried any of a Chanel products, makeup wise or face stuff, it smells amazing. And this is such a good foundation. Yes, it's expensive. I ain't gonna lie to you, of course it is. But it is so good. And what does it say about it? I'm writing this. It says, on the go cooling and hydrating gel fabric cushion, dewy health glow. And it's got a refillable case, but Chanel, sort yourselves out, will you? If they would get the refills, I wouldn't have to buy another one of these. I could have just put the refill into my case. So that needs to be sorted out. That's the only gripe I have with it. Because there's so many other brands that do them. And they've got the refills for it. Like, I'll show you. I mean, you'll know yourself. But look. 
take that little sponge off. Look, it pops out. So you should be able to just buy the refill to pop into it. But so far Chanel haven't done that, which is a bit shit because they want you to pay for the whole thing. So that needs a sorting out. Maybe I'll give them another little tweet. So yes, picked up another one of those. This packaging is ridiculous. Next thing we have got is the Clinique Moisture Surge 72 Hour Auto Replenishing Hydrator. And this is a gel cream. This is the 50ml one. And this is a new formulation, I think, of the other one, or so I'm led to believe. And it says, yours under or over makeup or as a five minute mask. And again, with it being Clinique, it's not going to be scented. And it's just a gel, lightweight cream. And this is what it looks like. You're not going to see it, are you? Because of the reflection. That's what it looks like. And what does it throw on the back? It says, the same addictively refreshing, my eyesight's terrible, addictively refreshing gel cream you love, now in hand to deliver almost twice as much hydration at the end of the day than it did before. It works non-stop for 72 hours. Testing proves it. Even after washing your face, auto replenishing technology actually helps skin create its own internal water source to continually rehydrate itself. Then locks in all that moisture for an endlessly plump, dewy, healthy looking glow. And it's oil free. So I am looking forward to that. And the other one that I picked up and I've never tried before is the Clinique Super Defense SPF 20 Daily Defense Moisturizer. Now, I never noticed this when I ordered it, but it says combination oily to oily. Now, I only get oily around my nose. I am dry with dehydrated, but I'm sure it'll be fine. You know, it's not going to do any harm. And it looks like this. The shiny packaging is just not going to love the reflection. Again, there's probably no point in even looking to see if there's a smell because there won't be. Because it's fragrance free. But again, I just thought Super Defense with the SPF 20 is right on my street. So let's read on the back what it says. A smart daily defence and so refreshingly lightweight, it's a pleasure to wear every day. It starts with comfortable UVA, UVB protection, antioxidants of course, then smart ingredients that work in real time to help undo the visible effects of UV. All day hydration strengthens skin moisture barrier to better resist to better resist irritants, absorbs quickly, apply daily to face and neck before going outdoors. And there's a little leaflet included. So that's what this one is. Is that focal fun? So yes, I look forward to giving that a go. And the weather's starting to heat up, so it's good, good, good. Next up, what is this? This packaging is ridiculous. They've ruined my product by sticking this stupid sticker on it. Let me get that off. How very dare they. I love a facial spritz. Love it. So this is the Clinique Moisture, Moisture Surge Face Spray. Thirsty Skin Relief. And this is what it looks like. And it says on this... Again, fragrance free. Rapid hydration and a refreshing oil free facial spray replenishes thirsty skin, restoring moisture. Equilibrium, is that how you say that? Aloe activated water instantly soothes, leaves skin soft, smooth. Use under or over makeup for all skin types. To use, hold, 
product 20 to 30 centimeters from face close eyes and spray and I guess you'd give it a shake and again there's no smell to it I've got stuff on my face but let's have a go it's a nice mess look oh lovely so I'll enjoy that especially when the weather gets a lot warmer as well whoop to do to do I've got that all in my nice clean hair but I'm sure it'll be dandy okay what else we got in here oh my trusty Elemis now again if you've watched my channel for a while you'll know I love Elemis skincare so I picked a backup, backup of my favourite cleansing wash and this is the Elemis Sensitive Cleansing Wash, Gentle Cleansing Wash for Sensitive Dry Skin. It's got thyme, chamomile, ladies mantle, it purifies, soothes and calms and this is 200ml. Now I do know that the price of this is £23 but I love it and this is my third bottle of this. <clears throat> I went to Elemis two years ago, maybe three years ago, I actually I originally went to the Origins counter, wanted to get an eye cream, there was no one there, so the lady from Elemis was helping me out, she gave me some samples from Origins, and then I just happened to go over to her, and at that point, my skin was going through just the worst time, like it was so irritated, itchy, just awful. And I was saying to her, you know, it just does my head in because you end up buying face stuff that's for a certain type of skin and then your skin changes, you know. So she was like, you can get a free skin mapping. It, she's like, it doesn't cost anything and, you know, it doesn't hurt. She's like, even if you've got makeup on, you just put your face into a screen, eyes open, it takes a picture and then it goes through you know, all the different things and it breaks it down for you. So she gave me samples of stuff and I tried them when I was at Emily's, who's my best friend, because it was me and her that went to the one, at um, John Lewis in York. So I tried all the stuff in the steps that she told me and I kid you not, my skin felt amazing. So I think it was a year later, we were doing a bit of Christmas shopping and stuff and my skin had completely changed from the last time I went. So I went back and it was the same girl and she remembered me and she was like, well, let's have a wee look and see if it's changed. And it turned out that my skin had changed a bit just with it being different weather. And she suggested the sensitive range for me. So there was a set that was on offer and I decided to get it because she said it was actually cheaper in price for me to buy the set than the individual items. Now some people will think, oh, that's her trying to get commission, but believe me, she was not being pushy. And this was in one of them and it was about that size of the sample and it was brilliant. And ever since, I haven't looked back. I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't use any other cleansers, but I really love this. It's just a luxury wee treat for myself. So I got another one of those. And this says, this effective and gentle cleansing wash is ideal for, I'm getting pins and needles on my feet, Sonia. <coughs> I'm losing my voice. It's ideal for sensitive to dry skin. The soothing extracts of thyme, German, chamomile and ladies mantle celebrated for their antibacterial properties are infused in the unique milk protein base for a calming cleansing experience. And that's exactly what it is. I highly, highly recommend this. If you want to give Elemis a go, I suggest you go to a counter, get the free mapping, and yeah. And they're, well, the ones I've been to, they're very generous in giving you samples, so don't be afraid of this. So, and then the last few wee things I've got here, and then I've also got a free gift with purchase because I got Clinique stuff. I love free gifts with purchase. This is like Friday. I actually can't remember what I got. That's how exciting it is. So, what have I picked up here? This is the Charlotte Tilbury Overnight Bronze and Glow Mask. It says it's an overnight hydrating flawless tan mask. So, this is what the box looks like. And it says apply a thin layer onto freshly cleaned skin, gently blending into the hairline, neck, and decolletage. Build your dream glow over one to three nights to 
the intensity of your desired tan. Wash hands after use. Warning, this product does not contain a sunscreen and does not protect against sunburn. Repeat exposure of unprotected skin while tanning may increase the risk of skin aging, skin cancer and other harmful effects to the skin, even if you do not burn. So it's no SPF in it, basically, I think that's what she's saying. So this is what the tube looks like. And is it sealed? Yes, it's sealed, so I'll leave it sealed for just now. But I just thought I'd try that. I'm not a massive fan of tan. I've got the U Tan and Tone um, Coconut Spritzing Spray, which is great because it just gives you a wee bit of something. But I just thought I would try this. And I like the fact... Hold on a minute. Why do they put stickers over everything? So random. Dream Bronze Mask. Why did they put that over it? Overnight bronze and glow mask, but it says that. Okay. I don't I don't know why that's on there. Maybe I shouldn't have taken it off, but it just I think it ruins the packaging. Anyway, so I, I liked the thought of this. You put it on and overnight it develops. But we'll see how we get on with that. Okay dokes. This I've been wanting for a wee while. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Skin Perfecting Micro Powder Airbrush Flawless Finish. And this is brush onto the T-zone and any oily areas to set your foundation and concealer. For an all-over flawless finish, brush onto entire face, brushing up and out. Enriched with nourishing rose wax and almond oil for a luminous finish. And I've heard so many good things about it. So this is the powder and I got it in medium number two and I'm hoping it'll be the right shade for me. Let's have a wee see. I don't have any makeup on. I think it will be okay actually. So this is what it looks like. It's just a finishing powder and it comes in her stunning packaging. And it's nice and slim. So you know it's easy and good to fit into the your bag. But I think... I think that is probably the right colour for me. We shall see how we go on with it anyway. But I thought number one would probably be too late. And then, oh yes. I got three more MAC lipsticks because I love MAC lipsticks. I want to collect them. I have a few and I'm going to do a video on them as well. So the first one I got is Shanghai Spice. And this is a cream sheen formula. Just drawn all the packaging. Oh, and it looks like so. And I will give it a wee swatch. I'm always terrified that I'm going to break new lipsticks. This is why I get all, all that beautiful colour. I'm not going to put them on my lips because I don't have makeup on. But look at that. It's lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. It's almost like the peachy kind of pinky tone on my top. Oh, and it smells like mini eggs. So that's the first one. That's a Shanghai Spice. Hopefully it'll suit me. And the next one I got is a satin lipstick. I don't know if this is the first satin lipstick I've ever had. And this is in the shade Brave. And see how when you get MAC products and it says back to MAC, see that? I always thought it was the outer packaging you took back, but what you do is, I think it's six, look up their website, I'll let you know. Oh, I think it's six of the outer packagings. So like six of these, say your a Fix Plus spray, um, even a mascara and eye paint. So, I'll, I'll have to look it up online, but I think you can take six items back and you, it entitles you to a free lipstick. The only thing you can't take back is like the Viva Glam lipsticks and I think the limited edition ones because they, you know, already are doing their bit. But So this is Brave. Lovely, isn't it? And let's give it a wee swatch. It's such a shame to swatch new lipsticks. So that's Brave there. What a shade. Oh, so nice. 
So let's do it beside it. So that's brave. Oh, oh they smell so good. Lipstick and eyeshadows are my downfall in collecting things. So that one was brave. And the last one is Angel. And this is a frost lipstick. And I'm not sure I've had one of these formulas either. My least favourite formula of any lipstick is matte. But I do want matte honey love. So this is what it looks like. What did I say this is called? Angel. And it looks like so. And it is absolutely... Oh, it's quite sheer actually. Oh, I feel like I'm going to break these. It breaks my heart. That one there is Angel. And it's just a light, sheer weight pink. But I am loving those. Loving, loving those. So that is all the stuff that I physically picked myself. Let me wipe that off my hand. And then, as I said, I got a free gift with purchase. So I got this because I ordered some cleaning items. It comes in this snazzy bag. And inside, what did we get? We've got a little leaflet here. I think that's just telling me everything that's in it. So I have got a Clinique Moisture Surge Hydrating Supercharged Concentrate. Oh, so I've got a travel size of this one, which is great. So what I'll do is I'll take that to my boyfriend. Happy days. Oh, it's adorable. Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Look how freaking cute. I love mini products. I don't know why I smell everything when you know it's just an oily balm. I've tried the Take the Day Off Cleansing Milk, but not the Balm. So that'll be one of them, which is also handy to take away. Then we have our Rinse Off Foaming Cleanser. And this is 30 mils. So that's proper schnazzy wazzy. And then what have we got wrapped up in here? I, I'm a sucker for gift. With her. Oh my god, it's adorable. This is... Clinique High Impact Mascara in, in black. Fabulous. Ooh. It's got a good wand on it. So again, these are super duper handy. I'm also going to York next month, so. And then this is a little Clinique lipstick, I think. I can't read. It says number one, nude pop. And oh, look how adorable. And nudes are just my favourite. Oh. <gasps> That's beautiful. Look. Look at that. Oh, yes, Clinique. Loving that. That is absolutely adorable. And then we've got one more thing in here. Ooh. Look at this. This is a blushing bronze powder. And it's called Sunset Glow. And it says Clinique and Jonathan Alder. I don't even know who that is or whatever. Ooh. And it's like a wee blush. Let's have a gander on there. It's a bit of a random colour, but I've put it there. See there, just beside the thing, mate. It's a bit of a random colour. But yeah, we'll give it a go. So that's nice. So to recap, we got the blush. Cutest little lipstick, I love the colour. Decent sized mascara. Really good sized rinse off foam and cleanser. The cutest ever. These little, honestly, I mean, they make me want. They're so adorable. Cutest little cleanser. And then a cute little sample size of the Moisture Surge Hydrating Supercharged Concentrate. And that's me. And I've got a wee leaflet here which I'll just pop back in. So guys, if you enjoyed seeing what I got in my haul, then please do not forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. It's absolutely free. Click that red button down at the bottom there. If you're watching and not subscribed, please do subscribe. You may as well. Click the bell button as well and it'll notify you when I upload, which is on a Monday and Wednesday and some weekends. So you won't get inundated with notifications. 
but it means you won't miss out on them. I also believe that if you don't click the bell button of people that you're subscribed to, you won't always get notified or know when they've uploaded unless you go looking for it. So it's handy to do that. At this present moment, I'm on 603 subscribers. So I'm still currently running my UK giveaway for 700 subscribers. So I'll leave that linked and you can go and check that out. Follow the rules and enter. And good luck on that. And then once we smash 700, I will be collecting things which I'm going to look up online right now for ideas of what I want to get for you guys for when I hit a thousand subscribers to say a humongous thank you for all the continued support. So I hope you had a great time over here at my channel and keep your eyes peeled because I'm going to be doing a MAC lipstick collection. And yeah, take care of yourselves. Bye!